Welcome to the programme. US President Donald Trump is celebrating what he says is a clear victory for national security after the Supreme Court partially reinstated his travel ban on people from six Muslim-majority countries. The justices overturned previous rulings and agreed that parts of the executive order can be implemented now while the legal battle continues. Now, full arguments on the ban will be heard in October. The order affects citizens from Syria, Iran, Libya, Sudan, Yemen and Somalia, but not those that have a clear personal link with people in the US. The court also allows a 120-day ban on all refugees to go into effect. Shia Brutansi has more. Although this was a partial victory for the White House, in a statement, Donald Trump appeared to be treating the ruling as vindication. Today's unanimous Supreme Court decision is a clear victory for our national security, he said. It allows me to use an important tool for protecting our nation's homeland. I'm also particularly gratified that the Supreme Court's decision was 9-0. Nationals from Iran, Somalia, Libya, Sudan, Syria and Yemen will have to prove they have a bona fide relationship with the United States in order to gain entry, as will refugees. The justices gave some examples, having a family member in the US, a job, being accepted to university. However, in his dissent, one justice said this may lead to a legal grey area and litigation. Immigrants' rights groups were also unsure of how a bona fide relationship with the U.S. is defined. There is no acknowledged legal concept that defines a bona fide relationship. That, dis that determination can happen at the consulate, which is most likely where it will happen. That's something that we're going to be monitoring very closely. Other opponents of the ban were dismayed that it was even partially upheld. This not only is a threat to the men and women who are being kept abroad by this unlawful, an unconstitutional ban. It is a threat to the millions of Muslim men and women who daily face a heightened risk of hate crimes just because of their faith. The Supreme Court will hear oral arguments on the ban in October. Three of the justices were prepared to fully restore the travel ban. However, they lost the argument with the other justices. There is another question, though. By the time the Supreme Court reconvenes in October, the administration will have had time to review its vetting procedures for nationals from the countries affected. And remember, this travel ban was only instituted in order to give the administration that time. So the Supreme Court justices themselves admit the whole issue may be moot by the time October comes around. Shia Bratansi, Al Jazeera, the Supreme Court.